the increased power of computation has played an important role in taking the world of animation from two dimensions to three dimensions. This award-winning short is an example of this advance in animation. Not only does Well-Wishers represent the latest in 3D animation, this student project illustrates the unprecedented access that Purdue University undergraduates have to high-performance computing resources. At Purdue, students have access to a couple of different high-performance resources. The first is a recycled Linux cluster, which is a 1,008-node cluster built out of laboratory machines that have been replaced as they've been upgraded. They also have access through a distributed network of using the 2,500 lab machines at night when the labs are not normally scheduled or in use by students. One of the disciplines that's taken advantage of these resources has been computer animation. Undergraduate students in computer graphics technology utilize high performance resources to complete computational intensive projects. The students use high performance computing primarily to the final rendering of the project. So if you think that we are running these projects at 30 frames per second, you know, every minute we have 1,800 frames to render. Depending on how complex the scene is, um, it might take more than a minute to render each frame. So in the past, they used to do the rendering in the labs or on their own computers. And the rendering used to take about a week to complete. Before high-performance computing resources were made available to students, it's estimated that Wellwisher's 10,000 frames would have taken more than three weeks to render. However, Wellwisher's was completely rendered out in less than three days because of the high-performance resource known as the distributed rendering environment. The distributed rendering environment is basically a network of computers that runs across campus that allows students that work in software like Maya or 3D Studio Max to go in and instead of having to render on a single computer they can go into the software into an interface that we've designed and then submit it to our server. Depending upon what computers are idle their job will be distributed across and the rendering will be done. One second of animation, 30 frames, can be rendered in a few minutes instead of a few hours. With these resources available, students now have the opportunity to tackle more computationally sophisticated work and participate in projects like the interactive virtual tour of Purdue's campus. This ongoing project at Purdue's Envision Center for Data Perceptualization uses high-performance resources and high-performing undergraduate students to model university buildings and their surroundings. To me, the high-performance computing aspect here at Purdue is extremely unique and puts our students in the best position when they graduate from this institution. Animation has added a dimension to the increased power of computation. And similarly, Purdue University has added a dimension to undergraduate education through unprecedented access to high-performance computing.